Welcome back to the channel guys this is Arfan Aftab and today we are going to talk about how to transfer Ethereum from Binance to your Ledger Hardware Wallet. Ledger Hardware Wallet is one of the most safest and secure wallet as of today in the market. So without wasting any further let's get started. My Ledger Live app is already open. The first thing we need to do is to install the Ethereum Ledger Live app and then we can add accounts. We'll click on the install button over here and once the app is going to be installed then we can add one or multiple accounts. Some people prefer to add multiple accounts because they want to have a different account for trading and for investment or saving they want to have another account. So once the app is installed then we can go on accounts or on the portfolio to manage the account and create our public address for the account. Let's click on add account. You can see already Bitcoin account has been created. So choose Ethereum and press continue. Now it's asking you to open the Ethereum app on the physical device. So what does it mean by that is I'll show you. On this device physically you will have to open the Ethereum app. This is a very secure device guys. So once we have clicked on these two buttons it will synchronize it with the wallet. So what it means by that actually is your wallet public address is going to show over here in this screen and it will also be showing you over here. You need to basically make sure that the wallet address which is showing over here and on the Ledger Live app they are matching because Ledger Live app is the interface for this hardware wallet. In case if somebody is a spammer or somebody is a hacker they play around with it they cannot play around with the hardware device. So if it does not match you can uninstall your Ledger Live and reinstall it. Now you can add over here multiple accounts if you want to uh, I am happy with one account and the color of this is a bit more harsh so I will just change it to dark and you can also change your currency whatever currency you want to make okay now I need to have a public key address because I want to transfer my funds from Binance to my ledger hardware wallet so let's go on the accounts choose ethereum manage and receive it's giving you a caution that uh, only ERC20 tokens can be added to this account, other can be lost. So again you need to uh, press these two buttons over here and Ethereum app must be open over here while your ledger live is open as well. And uh, do the copy clipboard of the address so that it will be verified and then press the button both buttons as it say verify that both share address exactly matches the one on your device and on the ledger live done so let's go to the binance app go to fiat and support wallet i have uh, approximately 0.6 eth so i want to withdraw it from the centralized exchange and want to secure it into my wallet automatically the address appears but you need to be very careful it should be ERC20 you should not go for BEP20 or some other address although the ERC20 gas fees is are very very high okay this is a very very important thing I have to tell you there is a double layer of security email verification code and spoon verification code in case if somebody has hacked or somebody has manipulated with your internet or with your pc but at least you are having a double layer of security so your phone sms uh, it is with you so this will just give you a bit more advantage and a bit more security you are not doing a transaction but you receive an sms for the verification code you will be easily able to identify that some suspicious activity is being carried out in my PC. So you can format your PC because without that verification code nobody can access to your Binance account in other, ex in other exchanges as well. It's the same thing. 
so he or she cannot send or transfer funds from your account so it's always a good practice okay once you have chosen these details but if you have not chosen the correct wallet address guys that's it your ethereum is lost and nobody can do anything about it so let's go back to the ledger live and that's it my ethereum has already arrived over here in case if you have sent your ethereum but you have not received in your wallet whether it's ledger live whether it's a ledger hardware wallet or any other wallet what you can do is you can go on each scan all the ledger details are accessible to everybody you can see over there the status if it's the, if the status shows success and you have not received the cryptocurrency into your account then probably you have sent it to the wrong address and you get your lesson for lifetime hopefully you understand this is a very simple process for ethereum but for solana or cardano yes uh, you can store them in your ledger hardware device but ledger live does not support it as of yet so you need to have another interface their native interface like for solana you can use the interface of phantom or soulflare for cardano you can use adelite or euro a wallet for sending receiving and for staking so you can see the link uh yeah link up in here how to secure cardano and solana into your ledger hardware wallets if you are interested in buying ledger hardware wallet the link is down in the description it's an affiliate link hopefully you like the content for today allah hafiz